Hi everyone, this is attorney Lillian with Lily Legal and I'm here to bring you your Tuesday tip. And this tip today is for people that are filing a marriage-based petition and were previously married. So you were married before your current spouse and you got a divorce. The first thing that I want you to know is that you need to make sure that your divorce is actually legal in the state you're in. This is a big deal and can come back to, you know, delay your case um, once you file. So first thing you need to do is make sure that your divorce is actually valid in the state you're in. That's the most important part. So this applies to those that were divorced in a foreign country. So you're living in the US, your spouse that you're divorcing is also living in the U.S., but you got the divorce outside of the U.S. In some states, including Massachusetts, this is not a valid divorce. There are ways to rectify this, but it's important to know before you start the filing process for your current spouse, whether that previous divorce is recognized in your state. And if it isn't, we have ways of fixing it. Either you get a new divorce or we try to get that divorce recognized. But this is a very important tip. You don't want to be at the interview stage and find out that the divorce um, is not valid. So again, this is for those that are filing an immigration petition for their spouse and were previously divorced. In that situation, you want to make sure that that divorce decree is valid in the state you're in. Thank you. And if you have any questions um, about this or any other immigration matter, please feel free to reach out. Um, my information is on the screen and in the description. Thank you and have a great rest of your Tuesday. Bye for now.